Uh, JB, he lost his head, so I tried to fix it. Um, so, hi, yeah, today we're going to talk about hamstring pain. A lot of people come to the clinic and they say, I have a hamstring pain. Uh, I try to, and I ask him the big question, you try to stretch that muscle. And of course, most of the people, most 80% people start stretching the hamstring muscle. And that's a big mistake. That's the cause more damage to your hamstring. Uh, because I explain why. It's two type of uh, problem with the hamstring. Sometimes uh, it's a three type of muscle up there. It's uh, rectus biceps femoris. Semimembranosis semi and semi, I think it's semitendinosis or something like that. So the problem is it's a tree muscle and they go uh, all different directions uh, and uh, make different function of your, uh, of your leg. So the problem is the muscles start get glued together because we're sitting a lot and not act activate those hamstring muscles. So they get glued together, now you stand up, and of course, you try to go and do uh, some exercise, like running, uh, maybe or maybe squatting, and that's the damage. If you don't do any stretch in this case, uh, you can damage uh, your hamstring and get some more like a muscle tear, muscle, uh, muscle fiber tear. So the other problem, it's uh, anterior tilt of your pelvis. If you take a look, most of the people most of the people, I believe like 80% of us have a lower dose because we sit a lot, we lose mobility, we lose stability. But anyway, so the pelvis is tilted forward and those hamstring muscles attach to the hip right in here and also to the condyle of the femoral bone. So that's mean if, we, if our pelvis get tilted, this muscle, the hamstring is get automatically stretched. It's a statically stretch. So the, the tight, the statically tight, they always tight, that they holding all those weights, you know, to try to balance it. So the good idea in this case, work on your uh, quadriceps muscles and also do some manual therapy on your hamstring. I will show you a couple exercises for the stretch your hamstring and also mobilize your hamstring and work with lacrosse ball or resistant bands. So stay with us, we're going to show you this great exercise, you can improve your hamstring and feel much better. Let's go. So in the first and the second case, if we have a anterior tilt of our pelvis or it just uh, muscle get tight and glued together, we use tennis ball or lacrosse ball. We're going to sit in something hard service. We're not going to sit on a comfortable chair or lazy boy. And what we're doing, we bring all the way in, try to sit straight. We get that ball right on that hamstring and we start almost with attachment of your to your hips, almost by the glutes. And what I'm doing, I start raising my leg up. Try to keep that foot neutral. Try to get a big toe towards you. After five, six times, you can push, pull a little bit down and do the same thing. And trust me, in one spot, you're gonna feel more tighter than everyone, everywhere in the, in the hamstring. So work all the way down close to the knee. Don't go under the knee because it's a dangerous zone. If you don't feel anything, probably use a lacrosse ball. I use lacrosse ball, but in the beginning, I start with a tennis ball. It's feel great. Do both sides, it's gonna feel amazing. The next uh, correction uh, exercise, Next correction training, we're gonna to try to bring a little bit more mobility to your hamstring area. And you're gonna bend, we gotta do take a half kneeling, and what we do, straight kinda of bend forward towards this leg. Make sure your foot is straight. Pay attention to that. Go all the way up. Use your arm as a drive. Use 
as a ski. Now we're gonna, as we talk about the three muscles up there in the hamstring, so we're gonna switch angle. We're gonna foot in and do the same thing. So foot in, foot central, and foot out. And you're gonna feel different group of muscle in your hamstring. This has been mobility for your hamstring. The first correction training, we start on the ground. That's we eliminate the gravity. We don't want to put any gravity on our spine when we try to do and release something because it's going to be less injury and trauma. We're going to use the band. This is the 150 pounds bands. And what we're going to do, we're going to lay down flat on the ground and put a lot of tension on this band and hold with one leg, arm, with two arms, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel comfortable, make sure you lay down straight, your spine on the ground and you start just do extension of this leg up. If you feel pain, decrease your angle. Otherwise, you can switch and see which arms are better. In this position, I feel much better. So you push your foot straight up. If you feel pain, micro is fine, like you see. Okay, now we've been talking about we have a three heads muscles up there, so it's a good idea to twist the band to the sides. Now we are doing outside and do the same thing. I want to put more tension. Here we go. You control it. If you feel it's too much, now I'm going to switch band this way do the same thing. Extend or help with my arm. After one minute doing this uh, correction program, you're going to feel a lot of stuff going on in your hamstring. You're going to feel it's like lengthening and activated. Now we're going to sit down. The second one, we already sit down. So we put some little bit of gravity on our spine. We're going to use the same band and all we're going to do just uh, statically stretch that hamstring. Pull and hold. Hold probably 30 seconds and after start leaning forward towards this leg. You're going to feel a lot of stretch in your hamstring. If you have anterior tilt of your pelvis, maybe skip that stretch. But this is the real stretch for your hamstring. Switch legs. Feel fantastic. Do this exercise twice, three times a week. You're not gonna feel hem pain in your hamstring and in your lower back. And I believe most advanced and uh, brutal stretch. If, you, if you're in a hurry, if you need some wind something, uh, you can pit and you feel you tight, this is the, I believe, most extreme stretch I ever tried for my hamstring. Uh, I mean, not over the craziness. So, same band, 100 pounds. Uh, you're gonna lay down towards the rack. Now you're gonna lay down close stretch this band Good. so get you in this position somehow uh, I just usually get inside and try to push myself away uh, put a lot of tension on this band and what I'm doing I just push with my arm and neutralize my ankle make sure it's straight you're gonna feel a lot of tension <sighs> don't dump your pelvis so don't try to raise your butt up Make sure it's on the ground. And as you can see, and after 30 seconds, my leg is start shaking. 
I'll just kind of stretch. So I believe my hamstring is a little bit weak. So I need to activate them, not to stretch them. This is also act, so this is activation and stretching exercise at the same time. I repeat, this is a little bit extreme way, so stay away from that kind of stuff. But if you need it, you need it, use it. So thank you for watching our channel. Please subscribe. Uh, leave your comments below. If you're a massage therapist, please, 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 please send your also your way of stretching or correction exercise or also manual therapy. I'd be very appreciated. Let's build our community. Let's help people because I believe we need this more than ever. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Stay with Life RX.